Hey Gemini, welcome to the second part of your reading, which is going to be your advice reading. We're going to see if there's anything else your angels, your guides need you to know and if they have advice for you, okay? So if you're just landing on this video now, maybe check out part one, which is where we got your energy. We saw what's going on with you at this time, okay? And we'll see now. What else does Gemini need to know? Holy angels. Holy Spirit, what else does Gemini need to know? And do you have any advice for Gemini? The Nine of Pentacles. There you are, all independent, self-sufficient, don't need a man, okay, or a woman for that matter, okay? Oh, and look, the King of Pentacles is back from your first reading. There he is. This person that thinks that they can control you with money, right? So I don't know who this Queen of Wands is. Um, we'll have to see who this is. If this is just your energy um, going out, exploring the world, saying, I don't need you trying to control me here with money, okay? I don't need you. I can do it alone, right? So well, let's see. You do have an energy of planning here. So we'll see. What is this Three of Wands? Somebody planning something. Maybe this person planned something with a Queen of Wands here with their lover or something like that. Let's see. Who is this? Uh, or what is this Three of Wands? You have the Knight of Swords, you have the King of Cups, and then you have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so it looks like... I don't know who all these people are, okay? So you have a King of Cups. Could be a water sign masculine, doesn't have to be. You got this King of Pentacles. I'm pretty sure this is the one. This is the energy that is trying to control someone with money, okay? Um, this King of Cups here was planning something. They, pl they planned something. Look at them, looking out above all that land going, hmm, what am I going to do today, right? That's this person. So they came in with some sort of action, some sort of communication, okay? Fast action, fast communication. They thought that their wheel was going to turn into their direction. They thought something good was going to come in for them, okay? They were going to have some sort of luck. Let's see, who's this King of Pentacles? Do you have the, so this King of Pentacles is watching you, Page of Swords, or this is the information here that was given, okay? Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, both two cards of somebody giving information or um, blunt communication. We'll have to see. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, came out in reverse again, okay? So this might be the person that is like your first reading, watching you to see if you've lost your job, if things are not working out for you, okay, you're not making any money, things are going down the toilet for you, um, so that they can come in like this, um, this, <laughs> okay, I'm not just going to say what I heard in my mind. Um, they just want to come in here with their like, um, their big sacks of gold coins and like, oh, let me help the poor, the beggar, right? Let me help the poor beggar. That's how, that's uh, what this person wants to do here. So let's see, I'm sorry, I just had to change the ad right now on the TV. Give me one more card for the King of Pentacles, please. The, the Hermit. You have, ah, so this is, <laughs> yeah, okay. So this King of Pentacles, just like in your first reading, it was is definitely the little thief here, the little lying ass thief here that is now all upset and sulking because they feel like they missed an opportunity, right? So they've been watching you and they've been hoping that you end up poor and a beggar on the street so that they can come in looking looking like they're giving you something or they just wanted you to beg, beg, beg to them, right? They really wanted to make you a beggar so that you run to them and beg them for money, right? So that they can turn around and see, oh, see, this person would have nothing without me. I have to give them money because they are this poor little beggar and they wouldn't even survive without me. They need me. Oh, look at me and my fucking big ass ego. They need me. That's this person, okay? <laughs> That's this person right here. So tell me about this Queen of Wands, please. They think that they're so, they're, they're so full of themselves, man. 
Yeah, four of coins reverse. They were definitely hoping that you would lose money. Four of coins reverse. Five of cups. Oh, so I'm assuming this is you, this queen of wands, queen of pentacles energy. You're this fiery person. You're a motivated, stable person, okay? You know exactly where you want to go in life. You've got drive. You've got dreams. You are self-sufficient, independent, working on your career, very goal-oriented, okay? You've got it going on. And this person wanted you all sad, losing money, losing stability, no finances, okay? Or this is their lover. Maybe this is their lover that they're working together with here. Oh, it's the lover. Excuse me. Five of Swords in the Justice System. So this King of Pentacles might have an accomplice, okay? This, they, oh, they might be sad now. I'm getting it. Okay, so they might be sad now, all upset that they have to give up finances, right? Court order. <laughs> it's going to be a court order that they have to give up finances, that they have to pay you. Because this person was weaponizing finances. If you are um, separated from this person and you have children with this person, okay, this is the kind of person that, like, in your first reading, they just don't pay child support. They're just like, I'm not going to pay. I'm not going to pay until this person comes begging me for money. Just so that I can feel good for those five seconds. And like, see, I knew they were going to beg. I knew that they were going to come beg. Not realizing that it's their fucking responsibility to pay child support. They don't care about that, though. Because their ego is so fucking big and they like weaponizing finances, okay? They like putting you in lack, okay? It gives them some sort of, thank you for the confirmation on my phone. This gives them some sort of like satisfaction, okay? They like this feeling. So it's gonna be a court order though that this person has to pay, okay? This little deceitful five of swords energy of them trying to walk and uh, walk all over you, use it, use it like a doormat, okay? These people are gonna end up sad and depressed and being court ordered is what I feel to have to release some sort of finances and stop playing the fucking mind games. That's what the Five of Swords is. Mind games. Playing mind games with someone because they have such a big fucking ego, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and you have the Hierophant at the bottom. I really feel like it's about to be a court order. Okay? Or this person will get in trouble with um, the courts because they're not they're not working on their duties at all they're actually trying to weaponize everything that they can against you because they just don't want to deal with their financials but at the same time they're gonna act like they're this oh look at me i got my life so put together i'm such a stable grounded person and i really got it going on and i have so much money look at me and everything that i've uh, made of myself in this life like look at me what i've accomplished in this life i'm such a you know, that kind of a thing, okay? Let me put some stars here on my badges or whatever. That's this person. But at the same time, they don't want to give any of it to you, okay? They don't want to have to give you anything. They're trying to steal from you, okay? And they want to feel like you need them. This is a fucking classic narcissist here, okay? So let's see. What is this person planning here? Three of Wands. They plan something. They plan some sort of action. They plan some sort of communication about investments. Huh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, this person, yeah, they, they love to say that they invest so much, right? Probably. So they communicated something about investments or investing, okay? Tell me more about this investment, investing communication here. Two of swords in reverse, but it's something's been exposed. Something's been exposed. So they were trying to maybe bind someone's eyes. They didn't want somebody to see something clearly about investments or the fact that they were not investing maybe in you or maybe they owed you something and they, like I said, refused to pay because they wanted you to come begging. Okay. Tell me about this knight of swords. This, yeah, page of cups. Okay, so maybe it could even be a child. Because you have King of Cups and Page of Cups here. So this could be father and a child, okay? Doesn't have to be though, take it how it resonates for you, but that's what I feel. So this person came in with some sort of communication about a child. Ah, that's funny. So they start talking about a child that they refuse to take care of, right? Yeah. Tell me more about the kind of words.
Oh, there we go again. <laughs> Look at what came out together this time. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. Okay. So they came in talking about some sort of communication about your stability or your relationship or some sort of an offer that they allegedly made you or something like that. Tell me about this Ace of Wands, please. Yeah, something regarding the, look at this, Ace of Swords and the Ace of Coins. The truth about money is coming out. So they might have lied to someone or tried to do something here regarding finances and investments, okay? Tell me about the Ace of Swords, please. Yeah, yeah, I feel strongly, High Priestess, that this is just my confirmation that they were keeping secrets with the Hermit and the High Priestess and the Seven of Wands. They were keeping secrets about the money that they have, the money that they gave you, the fact that they didn't give you shit, and then they were lying and they said that they did, like all this weird stuff, okay? And then they probably even lied about how much money they have so that they don't have to give you anything. They were just trying to keep secrets here. High Priestess and the Hermit and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, they were they were fighting other people's questions off, okay? And pretending like they don't have anything so that they don't have to give you anything, okay? And then they probably said, oh yes, I gave this person, I definitely invested in this person. I gave them what they deserve. I gave them what I owe them. Yeah, bullshit, right? Probably made even like fake fake bank, bank statements, okay? This person even probably turned in like falsified, fabricated bank statements just to uh, pretend like they gave you something when actually they never fucking did, okay? I'll tell you about this King of Cups. The moon, there he is. There's this person keeping secrets. Ah, I knew it, okay? High Priestess, Hermit, and the moon. Yeah, this person that you were attached to in the past with all the money that wants to make you a little bigger, this person has been keeping a lot of secrets and I feel like a lot of it has to do with money, okay? So, and I, not just with money, yeah, six of, yo, I'm telling you, six of pentacles. This person has been either lying about how much money they have, fabricating evidence about giving you things when they never did, lying about the fact that they gave you money, okay? Or, um, Either one of the two, okay? So that's what I feel strongly. Th then the whole time they're telling you they're not going to give you shit because they want you to be a little beggar, right? They want that message, that one message from you that says, hey, you owe me money. I need you to give me money just so that they can feel like, oh, see, I knew it. I knew they needed me. <laughs> get, get over yourself, man. Get over yourself. This person is so fucking weird, okay? So this person was definitely keeping secrets about their investments, okay? about how much money they make, about, about, uh, about how much they owe you, and probably about if they even gave you something. Like I'm getting strong energy of them like actually fabricating bank statements, fabricating evidence, claiming that they gave you money when they never really did, stuff like that. Tell me about the moon. Strength. Yeah, they thought they had the upper hand here. They definitely thought they had the upper hand here. That's funny. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. This person definitely with the six of wands. Oh yeah, they thought they had the upper hand here. Lying, lying on court documents, right? Lying about their income, hiding their income. Yeah, this person thought that they were so smart on sitting on their high horse, right? This person here. This person with the strength and the six of wands and the knight of wands, man, this person is so fucking arrogant, okay? This person is so fucking arrogant and full of themselves. These are three cards of somebody being prideful. Three cards of people being prideful. Look at me. I'm the best sitting on my high horse. Okay. I have the best cards. I'm the best. Okay, man. This person is so fucking arrogant. Yeah. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about this, please. Knight of Coins. Yeah, this was a financial strategy that they had going on here. They, I feel like they really, they did not disclose how much money they actually have, how much money they actually make. They refused to disclose their income, okay? 
And this was a financial strategy here because they were trying to turn the wheel in their favor by being a fraud, okay? They were trying to hold on to all their money so that they can weaponize it against you, okay? And make it put you in lack. So tell me about the page of swords. cards guys I'm really about to throw the cards okay so look who's making an appearance the Hierophant okay so we're talking about a higher institution this could be the police this could be law enforcement this could be the judge this could be court that's what I feel strongly with this one this person gave information to a higher institution this king of pentacles king of cups here that has been doing this to you this person gave a higher institution like the police or the judge, some sort of information regarding their finances. This person might have even claimed to be unemployed. This person might have claimed that they don't really have a lot of money. They're unemployed. They don't have a, a they don't have a eight pentacles. So they might have lied about their financial status. Okay. Tell me about this eight of pentacles reverse, four of swords. They kept things to themselves. Four of Swords, they did not reveal information about their money. Four of Swords is a is not revealing, not speaking, keeping things in your head, keeping things to yourself. This person kept secrets about their finances and how much they make. Yes, they did. Lovers in reverse, Nine of Wands reverse, and the Two of Wands reverse. It's because they were trying to, yeah, they tried to block, they were being stubborn. Because they're petty and stubborn and a little uh, bully, okay? So this person is just stubborn, stuck up, arrogant, and feels like they don't have to tell people anything. I don't have to tell you. Just because you're the police or the judge or the court, I don't have to tell you my business. I don't have to tell you what I earn. That's not in your business. I'm a little stubborn donkey, okay? <laughs> I'll just put it that way. They did not, they did not work together here. They did not... Uh, work together with the courts or the, the police the way that they should have. They refuse to work together here because they're stubborn. And they definitely hid information about their money. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Yeah, because they did not want you to have balance. Empress and Temperance. You might be a mother figure with the Empress, okay? Thank you, confirmation with the pigeon that just flew by. They did not want you to have balance. They did not want you to heal. They were weaponizing finances to keep you stuck. And not just that, it was literally only because they wanted you to uh, suffer. They See, this is the kind of person that doesn't understand that child support is for the children. They see child support as being for... Um, they think it's that, that you're buying like Gucci handbags with it, okay? This person doesn't understand that children cost a lot of money. They don't care about that though. They think that it's something with you. So they take it personal. They are trying to personally hurt you because they have a problem with you personally. And they feel like using finances to put you in poverty, that is a way that they can hurt you. That is this person, okay? They don't want you to heal. This is about you being balanced. They just don't want you to be balanced. They're not realizing that they're making their life, the, the kid's life hard. They don't realize that the kid needs a place to stay, that the kid or the kids need food to eat, that the kids have expenses, that the kids need new clothes because they're constantly getting fucking holes in all their pants, okay? This person doesn't realize that. They don't care. They think that they're paying you some sort of child support and you're going out and you're buying something for yourself. They don't fucking understand. They don't even care because this person is a narcissist and all they're trying to do is hurt someone else, weaponizing finances to do that, okay? And they don't want you to be balanced and stable. Lying about, they definitely lied about money here. Tell me about the seven of uh, swords, please. <clears throat> Five of Wands, I'm telling you. Yeah, they just want to create conflict for you. That is all this is. They they wanted to create, They not only did they want to create conflict for you, okay, and make your life harder, they wanted to steal and get away with money that they actually owe you. They didn't want to pay you. 
okay? They were trying to steal and lie and get away with paying you what they owe you. So I swear to God, they probably lied on their statements claiming that they don't make money or they don't have money, they can't pay you, they lied, okay? And then they probably even forged like bank statements, forged documents, created fake whatever, pretending like they paid you when they never did. This person is a fucking fraud, okay? And they only did this because they were trying to cause a fight for you. They sent some sort of a message here, Page of Wands, Ten of Swords, about an offer, okay? So they might have sent a message to the police or some sort of documents. Page of Wands could be documentation, okay? They might have sent in some sort of documents to the court, to the judge, to the police, who knows? But what it was, it was meant to betray you. They wanted to hurt you. They want to hurt you. That is their only motive in this, is that they want to hurt you. They want to make you feel bad all, oh, okay? Ace of Cups. They probably lied about saying they gave you something when they never did. After they did a little Photoshop, right? <laughs> you fucking idiot. So tell me about this Queen of Wands, please. This Three of Cups. Ah, okay. So this is their lover. This person and their third-party lover here, Queen of Wands. These two are working together. Lovers at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Okay, so your ex and their lover are now all sad and upset, way, way, because they were working together to make sure you don't get any money, okay? So, <laughs> why does your ex's new person have a problem with you? What kind of a person is that when they're working together to make sure you, don't, you and the kids don't get something? I mean, how, what kind of a woman is that? Probably the equivalent to what kind of a man your ex is, right? So... <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Tell me about the five of cups. Yeah, two, two of pentacles reverse. They wanted you to lose out. They wanted you to be in financial hardship, okay? This would have made them happy if you were struggling financially, right? There, there she is, the queen of wands here, whoever this is. Tell me about this five of cups. The devil. Oh, they're so angry, man. These two are so angry and upset right now. They're angry and upset. So angry and upset. Oh yeah, they're heartbroken. They're heartbroken here. Okay, tell me about the four points of verse. Oh yeah, they feel trapped. So they made a choice here. They made a conscious choice. Now they feel like their hands are tied. They feel like they have to they like have to give you the money. And this is like their worst nightmare, right? Because these people have been weaponizing finances, okay? They've been purposely not paying you. And then they've been sitting at home thinking like, ha ha ha, let's see if that person can even pay their rent this month. Hopefully they end up homeless with the kids, right? This makes, this makes them happy. Now they are feeling like their hands are tied and they have to give you something. And they're like, oh can't believe we have to give them something it's like oh god they're not there yet guys they're not this part isn't working at 100 percent capacity yet okay it's okay some people are like that some of the best system please the sun. <laughs> yo i'm speaking some truth right there huh the sun that's funny sorry yo <laughs> funny is that 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 comes out right after I say the brain isn't working at full capacity <laughs> okay I'm sorry okay <laughs> yeah it's just like petty petty ex shit okay tell me about this eight of cups queen of cups and the six of swords okay It's kind of, yeah, because this was giving me at the beginning, like, court order, okay? So they could be, there There could be a judge or a court system involved here. As a queen of cups, this could be you as a mother figure or something like that. Or this is the lover or something. I'm not sure, okay? Just take it how it resonates. But I do feel like you're going to be able to move on to peace, okay? You left this bullshit behind. These people are trying to put you in some bullshit about giving and receiving money. It's all about that, okay? Like, you left this behind because it's just annoying. Like, who wants to deal with um, an ex like this, right? 
So you literally just walked, you probably walked away. When you realize that this person was just playing games, refusing to give you money, that is probably when you said, you know what, I'm not playing your stupid little mind game, okay? I'm going to then just make sure I'm stable on my own because nobody can rely on you and you're petty as fuck. And I'm not gonna play your stupid mind games. Five of Swords mind games. I'm not playing your stupid mind games. I'm gonna be independent. I don't even, I, I'm gonna get so fucking independent that I don't even need your stupid shit. Okay, that was your that was your mentality after dealing with someone like this. Okay, Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they wanted you to be poor, left out, have nothing. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, lose family, lose money. This Queen of Wands did. Okay, so this little accomplice here, right? This is a duo. This is definitely a duo working together. This could be your ex and their new person, okay? Their lover. This is definitely a duo working together to make sure that you are in lack, okay? That you don't have anything. This is two people working together, okay? So it could be their lover. It could be their friend. Who the fuck knows? It's definitely two people working together here to make sure that you have nothing, that you're in lack, that they are, they're lying on statements, lying on documents, forging documents, lying about what they gave you, okay? Lying about what you have or what they have. It's a mess. It's a mess. And you walked away from this mess to go and be independent, right? Oh, tower. <laughs> that you don't need them. And you said goodbye. See you later. I'm not dealing with this stupid shit, right? So let's see here. What's the secret that this person is keeping? Actually, I'm gonna get some of these. Tell me, what is the secret that this King of Cups is keeping here? Coffin. What? Keeping a secret about a death? About a death? And a mature woman. This King of Pentacles, King of Cups, is keeping a secret about a death? And a mature woman. Uh huh. What do you mean in the courthouse? What do you mean a secret about a mature woman? What do you mean a secret about a mature woman? Some sort of receiving what you need, progression arriving. What do you mean, coffin and, and a mature woman? A secret that they're keeping here. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost. Takes time. They're claiming they're heartbroken, deeply hurt about an ending with a mature woman, but at the death of a mature woman. About the death of a mature woman. This is what they're keeping a secret. They're keeping a secret about a death of a mature woman. What do you mean? Learning, expansion, new phase, transcending obstacles. Huh? They're trying to transcend some sort of an obstacle here. Or maybe they're doing that with a mature woman. Why is ascending here? Official person. So they're trying to ascend some sort of... They're trying to... Transcend an obstacle with an official person. Okay. Yeah. So something with a judge or a court or an official or something like that. They tried to get over a hurdle here with an official person. So they might, so either they're heartbroken about the death of a mature woman here with coffin a mature woman, or this mature woman was helping them do something. They used a mature woman in secret to help them transcend something. What's the wheel of fortune? Wealthy man in reverse and thoughts in reverse. Yeah, to say that they don't have any money. 
to claim that they don't have any money. So what, did they use a mature woman to help them like forge documents or something like that? Cause that's, I don't know why, but that's what I feel. So they might've gotten help. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception. They got help in changing the perception of something, gaslighting a situation, the perception. Or the perception, yeah, it has to do with the perception of them having money, right? If they, if they have finances or not. They had to change the perception of their finances or how much money they make. So they might've gotten help doing this. What did this look like, this help? Well, some sort of communication with the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. The Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. It has something to do with a death. Why do I feel it has something to do with a death? The Grim Reaper and Coffin. Communication about a death? A karmic relationship. Or the ending of a relationship? Or about a relationship? Some sort of information about a relationship or the 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 end of a relationship or the break or a breakup this is what they yeah a courtship hmm okay tell me about this uh seven of swords change yeah they didn't want something to change for them probably around their finances tell me about the crazy ones Adjudication. So they sent a message to a judge or to some sort of a adjudication or they try to get someone put under judgment, but they lied. Whatever was in this message here that went to a judge, okay, this was a lie because they didn't want something to change. They tried to get away with something and, and lie and steal because they didn't want something to change, change in reverse, and it was a message to a judge. But why am I getting like death with a coffin with a... What is this with coffin and Grim Reaper? Tower and the Nine of Cups. It has something to do with someone being alone, okay? Because you have the Nine of Cups here, the Nine of Pentacles here, and both coming out with the Tower. It has something to do with someone being alone, or something someone does alone, or not being in a relationship. It's like, this is something about someone being single. It has something to do with someone being single, not being in a relationship. Why? Ten of Wands in reverse, because it was a, less of a burden. Because they could drop the burden of something if they were alone or they were doing something alone. They could drop the burden and pretend that they're in the Five of Pentacles. Claiming that they were doing something alone. What do you mean with the Nine of Cups? Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Power. Date in reverse. Meeting someone new, dating, get back out there in reverse. Okay, so something with stability has something to do with them not wanting you to meet someone new, okay? They didn't want you to meet someone new. They wanted you to be, they wanted you to stay single and alone. They wanted you to be alone. They wanted you to be frustrated in a relationship and not meet someone new because there's some sort of lies regarding a relationship being over. Confirmation. They lied about a relationship being over or the end of a relationship or a breakup. They lied about a breakup and said that someone didn't meet someone new 
And something about a karmic relationship being over. Huh? Okay, I feel like this is going to be a whole nother reading. But why is this significant? The runner in reverse. Because someone's not a runner. Someone didn't run away. Someone doesn't have a fear of intimacy. And someone was not listening to their ego. I don't even know at this point who this is about. If this is what they were trying to say about you. Or if this is like... Hand of cards in reverse, stab in the back in reverse. They can't stab you in the back and they cannot, they're not receiving what they need. They can't take a risk. Something to do with a one night stand. Something with a one night stand is coming to light. What the heck? I don't know. Hold on a second. What else do we need to know about this? What's the advice here? Because the end here is like super confusing all of a sudden. The star could have something to do with an Aquarius. The Wheel of Fortune. So this might not even be their lover. This might be a third party, this Queen of Wands. This might be some, this might be an accomplice. Someone that they were working together with. This is a third party. They were all involved. Okay, so there's multiple people involved in this. This Somebody could be an Aquarius. They lied about the end of a relationship. They lied about a breakup. They were working together. Ten of Wands to put burden on your back here. To burden you. To burden you. So they lied about the end of a relationship. They all lied together. It's like a bunch of third parties here. Yeah, they lied about a relationship. Two of swords in reverse, but this is coming to light. So this might be, yeah, the f five of swords again in the hermit. So if this is going back to your first reading of you going towards a new relationship, okay? You going towards a new commitment with someone else. You are in a new relationship with someone. <clears throat> Someone here has been lying about the end of a relationship, a breakup, a separation, or you being with someone else, or you in a relationship with someone else. Someone has been making up lies about your relationship status or something like that. To put burden on your back. There's a whole lot of mess going on here, okay? But also something with this person's finances. But there's like... I feel like in your next reading, more will come out, okay? We'll have to see. But there's definitely a lot of third parties involved in this here. A lot, okay? Who knows? I don't even know what this Queen of Wands is all of a sudden. Like, who is this person now? I don't know. We'll see. Tell me, Holy Angels, who is all involved in this now? Like, who is this new player? I'm not even sure. This could be a lover. This could be their, their new person. This could be just their friend. Or someone they're working together with. Some sort of a third party here. So I mean, who is this Queen of Wands? A Taurus could be involved. Who is, who is involved in this here for Gemini? A judge. Yeah, I'm telling you, a judge. December could be significant. Somebody's parents, okay, or your grandparents. Somebody in this situation could be a witch. neighbor could be involved here in a Gemini, a baby daddy, yeah. Your baby daddy could be an ex-convict and a sociopath. An Aries could be involved, okay. A gang member could be involved and a Virgo could be involved. So there's a Virgo that could be a gang member. A father and an Aquarius. Hmm, interesting, okay. An Aquarius, because I just got a star here. So this Queen of Wands could be an Aquarius. Lawyer, a lawyer and police could be involved. Okay, that's weird. Let's see who this person is now. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that, okay? I hope I could give you some confirmations, okay, that it resonated with you. Um, I'm not sure what your advice is, though. Honestly, what is the advice? Because it went, like, way left at the end of the reading. But it, 
going to be way too long if I don't keep going here. If I don't stop. Knight of Wands and the Four of Coins. Whoever these people are, they definitely took action because they were trying to hold on to resources. That was the motive. They were trying to hold on to money. They didn't want to give you money. They wanted to hold back money from you. That was the intention here. That was the motive. That's why these people did this. For money. Judgment. Okay, now they're under judgment, hopefully. Death in reverse because they were trying to stop something from ending. Ten of swords and they were doing this by betraying you. Stabbing you in the back ten times because you walked away. Because you walked away. That's why they did this. Because you walked away, Empress. Empress. You here, Empress. Beautiful Empress. Yeah, you walked away from the bullshit. And that's when they decided to stab you in the back. They didn't want something to end here. And it was all because of money here, okay? Alright, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one, okay?